I am such an awesome guy I make so many videos Boom. Hello there, Price of Reason here with a special report. After years of lecturing, looking down at their viewers, and sticking their nose up in the air, some Hollywood stars have been getting a much-needed reality check, and the latest to join this group is none other than She-Hulk star Tatiana Maslany. Earlier this year, following the finale of the disastrous MCU show She-Hulk Attorney at Law, lead actress Tatiana Maslany told Variety magazine that she liked She-Hulk because it was an F.U. to male Marvel fans, which she considered to be trolls. This statement was especially annoying because not only was the She-Hulk show a poorly written failure, prior to the show, the She-Hulk character was actually popular amongst male comic book readers throughout the years. The main issue with the show, besides the amateur level writing, was that it was designed to specifically attack a big portion of its target audience, men. To make matters worse, this attack was something that She-Hulk star Tatiana Maslany seemed to have relished, which made most male MCU fans lose a lot of goodwill towards her as an actress, regardless of the quality of the show. Well now it appears that they're not the only ones that have lost goodwill towards Maslany, as it appears that cable network AMC feels the exact same way. Call it karma or call it a reckoning in Hollywood these days, but since that damaging Variety magazine interview, Maslany just seems to keep collecting those L's. Not only does it appear that She-Hulk Season 2 isn't likely to happen, AMC have pulled the plug on Maslany's latest project, Invitation to a Bonfire. Now just to be clear, this isn't a situation where something was in development and it was ultimately scrapped due to lack of interest. Maslany, who is both the star and executive producer of this miniseries, had already filmed four out of six episodes of the show before it was suddenly dumped by the AMC network. So this cancellation is actually more along the lines of a David Zaslav Batgirl type of cancellation. Apparently, the network looked at four out of the six episodes of Maslany's miniseries that had already been completed and figured that it was best if they used it as a tax write-off. Now the press is trying to suggest that this was a purely financial decision and not a creative one, but I don't know if that's the case. Getting rid of a show at this point, to me, shows a lack of confidence in the project. Oh, and in case you were wondering, the show was about a love triangle between a man, his wife, and another woman, billed as a female-centric story told through a female gaze. It's unclear if the uncompleted project will ever show up anywhere else or if it's gone for good, but one thing is for certain. Rather than She-Hulk making Maslany this big star that people want to see in several projects, she's now, at least at this very moment, not considered much of a draw. Now before you all tell me that maybe AMC is having financial difficulties these days and that they had no choice, I still believe that if this show was worth anything, they wouldn't have written it off. I've never seen them tell Vince Gilligan that they're not going to be airing completed episodes of Better Call Saul, and even if the show did have another season, I'm sure they wouldn't either. Not to mention that even though The Walking Dead hasn't been good for years, it's not stopping them from making seven spin-offs with all these characters talking to each other in the forest. To put it bluntly, you don't write off a miniseries so far into filming unless you think it's crap. Now, I suppose if they thought that Maslany was a bankable star, maybe they'd still see value in the miniseries, but that doesn't appear to be the case either. Personally, I hope that this also marks a shift in the type of content networks like AMC produces moving forward, as I suspect perhaps there is also something about this female-centric, female gazy show that they didn't think would resonate well with their audiences. And if AMC wants some advice, I'm happy to give it to them. Why don't you try making good, well-written shows again? Ones that appeal to a wider audience. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul were iconic. Early seasons of Mad Men and Walking Dead were good too before, uh, they collapsed under the heavy weight of their showrunners' egos. Maybe AMC should focus their attention on shows like that. Anyhow, just wanted to give you all this special update. How do you feel about the cancellation of Tatiana Maslany's female-centric, female gazy project? Feel free to let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, and also clicking on that wonderful notification bell. Thanks for watching, my friends. Thank you, and good day. I am such an awesome guy. I make so many videos. Boom.